Good morning. It is morning, so I can say good morning, really, today. And a month ago, I started my uh, vinegars. You could call them flavored vinegars or uh, vinegar that's an extract. Uh, and I don't know if you remember, but a month ago, I started three of them. But before I go any further on this, I've got a confession and something else I want to say. I've been um, talking about Jim Wilson's Don't Degenerate, Regenerate instead, or it's not, that's not the name, but Don't Regenerate, Don't Degenerate, Regenerate. Uh, anyway... I haven't got past the warm-up yet. I'm still working on his warm-up exercises, but I'm doing them. It's just I'm way behind. But they had one on walking, and so I'm really uh, trying to work up to that 30 minutes a day, and I'm halfway there, so I, I have visions of really making that. And I used to walk a lot, so I really want to do that. And I want to get out of the warm-ups, too. But anyway, then the other thing I wanted to say, you know, I hear all the big boys say it. If you like what you see, subscribe. So I'm going to say that. If you like this crazy old lady with a camera, Please subscribe. So there you have it. And now, what I'm doing this morning is I'm going to drain off my um, vinegar and, and get the herbs out of it and just be pure vinegar, except it will be flavored with this. And this one I'm going to do first. It has ginger, garlic, curry leaf, coriander, cumin, and four red 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 peppers in there okay here goes I've got cheesecloth and cheesecloth in a sip okay and it needs help getting out and I want to get all of it out in here and it won't make this whole jar full because of the displacement of the herbs in it I think I'll get my spatula. Okay. Okay, then I take that around, pull it up. I've washed my hands before this. Okay. Then you just squeeze it out and squeeze it and squeeze it until you can get it all out. And I don't know if you can see, it's just about down to the last drops. Okay. I think that's about it. And I'm going to get a bowl. I'm going to save what's left over. And I'm going to either put it in my garden or take it out to the chicken yard. And they'll work through it. Okay, that's that one. And what I do next, I'm just going to put it right back into its labeled jar. It tells me what it is. Okay, oh, I've got some herbs that are stuck to the side here. Okay, and I want to sort of wipe it out. Whoops, okay. 
Okay. And what I'll I'll put it in here. Okay, and I have maybe about oh not quite three fourths of a jar. And then I want to put it. What did I do with its? Oh, right here. I want to put its lid back on. I'll put it in the refrigerator. And how will I use it? I'll use it making mayonnaise. I'll use it in salad dressings. I'll use it in sweet and sours. And another way I'll use it, and I'll show you. I'll just put some in water and I'll put in like, now it's not as acidy as the other vinegar because remember it's been diluted. I don't think it is anyway. I'm, I'm not positive on that. So I'm going to put in, um, I, I doubt if this is really a tablespoon, so let's say a scant tablespoon into the water, and I'll drink that. Mmm, yes, I can tell. It's vinegar water. Anyway, that's what I have, and what the vinegar has done it has, out of the ginger and the garlic and the curry leaf and the coriander and the cumin and even the peppers, it has taken all of them, like the minerals, out of them, extracted them, some of the vitamins. And so it's a very, um, it will give me some of the minerals that I need as I sip this, and some of the vitamins. Okay, I'm just going to turn around, I'm just going to rinse my cloth a little bit, and I'm going to do the next one. I don't know what the shelf life, I think they say around six months, but I use them up way before that, so I never have to worry about that. So here we go. And this one is just rose and hawthorn. Hawthorn is an herb that's noted to help the heart. It's heart a heart-healthy herb. So again, that goes in. And we'll get that out. And this will be the process for each of these. The last one I have is sage and oregano. I think that was it. I see my, uh, yeah, sage and oregano. Now, the, in folklore, and I forget way back in history, but someone said, why, why are you dying when you have sage in your garden? So sage is a really good, healthy herb. So there you have it and how I survived the 80s. And I think it's sort of a, a fun way to do it. And it's good. And I'll be using it, like I say, in mayonnaise, salad dressing. And the other day when I made some mayonnaise, then I took mayonnaise and some of my kefir, and some sour cream, and some um, spices, and I made a nice salad dressing with it. So, there you have it, and that's how I survived the 80s. <laughs>